What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I just got home, I went to the gym this morning, you can probably tell my skin looks a little beat right now, but I went to the gym this morning and thought to myself when I was coming home, like why don't I just stop in at TJ Maxx? I really haven't gone to TJ Maxx or bought any skincare for a while now. I don't want to say I'm on a no-buy thing because that's become a thing on YouTube right now and if you know me, I am vehemently opposed to anything that has to do with like trending topics or jumping on the bandwagon, which is probably why I have zero uh, videos that have a lot of views. Not a very good YouTuber, obviously. Anyways, I have been on kind of a, without calling it a no-buy, I've been on a no-buy. I had a bunch of products and I really have been trying to save some money. I have my taxes because of the way that uh, taxes work with my work. I end up paying it all in one lump sum because I'm technically an independent contractor. So I pay it all in a lump sum and it's a lot of money for me. So I've been really trying to save up and just save money in general. I don't need to spend as much as I did the last couple of years. Anyways, long story short, my skincare purchasing has been pretty minimal, as you've probably noticed. There's been way fewer hauls, haven't really done any TJ Maxx hauls, haven't really done any Sephora, any hauls. I really haven't done a lot of hauls, considering if you look back at my last couple of years of videos. Let me know if you guys are in the same boat, trying to cut back on your spending, and obviously I have a bunch of stuff that I need to just get through, and I do have some things that I get sent monthly. So, it's not like I'm lacking, I have plenty to work with. I went to TJ Maxx and obviously Target ended up purchasing stuff that I probably didn't need to buy, but I did. So I thought I'd just sit down, do an old fashioned haul, show you some stuff that I got, and we could just chit chat about it. It'll be a pretty quick video, uh, maybe. Anyways, if you like this video, if you've missed my hauls, if you just like sitting down and chatting with me, then go ahead and give this a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you've not yet done that. Of course, everything will be linked on my socials, products, videos, stuff, will be linked in the description bar down below, so check that out. Let's go through the TJ Maxx bag first. Here's the little bag. I did get a bunch of things. So, I've been running low on moisturizer, and I think Shannon stole one of the ones that I brought to the horse show. She was said she needed one, and then all of a sudden I couldn't find mine, so I think she stole it. It's whatever. I think I got that one from TJ Maxx, too. So I got some moisturizer, a moisturizer from TJ Maxx. As you guys know, I'm not a huge fan of Paracone. I think the products really just have never worked for me. They sound super interesting, and then I use them, and it's like... Anyways, this one was 20 bucks. It's the Paracone MD Neuropeptide Firming Moisturizer with neuropeptides, DMAE, and hyaluronic acid. It's two ounces of cream, and it was 20 bucks. And this is usually super expensive. This line is like crazy expensive, their neuropeptide line. So I thought I would grab this. I looked through the ingredients list and there was nothing that offended me. Basically what I'm looking for is no super bad ingredients and no shea butter or coconut oil. Those are like the two things that I'm really trying to make sure that's not in there. So here's what the little jar looks like. I was hoping it was a little bit of a thicker moisturizer and it appears to be a little bit thicker. Maybe not super rich, but we'll give it a go. 20 bucks, not, not a bad price. Then I picked up this Shea Moisture 100% Premium Pumpkin Seed Oil. Now, obviously, I got it for $4.99, and it's the Shea Moisture line. It's probably not premium pumpkin seed oil. It's not the... I'm guessing it's not the greatest extraction method or whatever, but it's just straight up pumpkin, pumpkin seed oil, and it's 1.6 ounces. So I thought that would be kind of nice to just mix into some moisturizers, mix into some oils, you know, whatever. Sometimes it's nice to just have single blend oils. I also saw this. It's the Marvis Ginger Mint Toothpaste. I know I've seen so many people talk about the Marvis Toothpaste, especially people that are kind of on the natural toothpaste kick thing, trend, whatever, and they seem to really, really enjoy the Marvis toothpaste. This was $6.99 down from like $10, so I'm not really going to pay $10 for a toothpaste, but I would pay kind of half price just to try it out. So we're going to try this out. I've never tried a ginger toothpaste before, so that would be interesting. I've seen a bunch of people talk about this guy, and I'm not really a drugstore skincare person. I'm going to do a full video on that just because it'd be kind of interesting to talk about, but I 
found this. I've seen people talk about it and then I couldn't find it, of course, how it always goes. It's the e.l.f. Hydrating Water Essence. It has purified water, coconut water, and algae. This also has like niacinamide, some coffee extract, sodium PCA. It does have some pretty interesting ingredients, glycerin of course. Um, and I got it for $3.99. I think it's maybe less than $10 if you buy it full, pr full price and you get 5 ounces. So it's called like a lotion hydrating water oops water essence which of course i love essences this does look like it's a watery toner type of thing i have seen a lot of people talk about it and really really enjoy it especially people that i trust so with their opinion reviews i decided to go ahead and go for it i needed the hydrating essence toner anyways i'm really running low and then the last product I got from TJ Maxx is from Alginist. It's their Hydrating Essence Toner. Again, I needed another hydrating type of toner product. This was $12.99. Looks like this. And again, this is 12 ounces. Uh, ingredients wise, pretty good slash straightforward. Sodium PCA, there is some witch hazel, so it might be a little more clarifying than I would have expected than I would want, but we'll see, we'll give it a go. There's some peptides, there is some tea extracts. So ingredients wise, it's pretty nice, nothing super wildly exciting. Again, it's more of a watery toner type of consistency, so we'll see how that goes. I don't mind getting cheaper things like this, I don't mind doing five, six, seven, eight, a hundred thousand different layers because I got it for cheap. So that is my TJ Maxx haul, and then at Target, I saw that Pixie has released a bunch of new products. They have like a whole new vitamin C line. They have some more products that go into the Glow line. Now you guys know I'm not a huge fan of the Glow Tonic. It just didn't do much for me. But I saw a bunch of their other products and I wanted to give them a try. So I saw this one. As you guys know, ceramides are really huge in skincare for me. I think that they're very important. So I picked up this rose ceramide cream with rose and ceramides, obviously. Um, it has rose flower oil, some ceramides, and probiotics. Pretty interesting. And this is around $24, I think. Uh, I was running out of my Dr. Dirt Ceramid and Liquid, so I needed a new ceramide product in my life. This isn't new for Pixie, but it has been one that I just haven't purchased. I don't think of Pixie being super affordable because everything is like $20. $4, $24, $24, $24, and eventually that kind of adds up. But it looks like this. It's called an intensive moisturizer. Let's see what it looks like. Looks like this. Pretty nice, just light scent. I don't know as if I'd call it an intensive moisturizer. Seems pretty light, but I will be back with reviews. Then I saw this from their vitamin c line it's called the vitamin c juice cleanser with orange flower water now i looked at this and was like oh my god it's a, a cleansing water my cellar water but they have the vitamin c cleanser they have the vitamin c tonic which is like less than half the size of this and then like vitamin c lotion vitamin c serum vitamin c bomb whatever but i looked through the ingredients list and there's really nothing in here that screams like my cellar water so there's water, orange flower water, some ascorbic acid, which is your vitamin C, there's ferulic acid, there's ferment high in the ingredients list, there's hyaluronic acid high in the ingredients list, but there's nothing like cleansing, there's no cleansing agent, no sulfate, no detergent, anything like that. So to me, this was like a big toner, and then the toner was just a toner with some extra ingredients. Literally, this I think has some vitamin... This does have some salicylic acid in it too. So this seemed like a really nice toner that was $18. And then the, the vitamin C actual toner had some more ingredients like tea tree water and some other things. But it was the same price, if not a little bit more expensive for half the price. And both of them are basically toners. So I thought I would go give this a try and just see if I was wrong reading the ingredients list. Maybe it actually is a cleansing water and I'm just stupid, but it does say no rinse off and there's no detergents. So we're going to give this a go as a toner. I thought that'd be kind of nice. I haven't been using any vitamin C products. As you guys know, the Skinner and cream has basically replaced vitamin C for me. So I thought I could do this and then go on with my rest of my skincare routine. It'd be kind of nice. And I saw this. This was huge and caught my eye. Look, it's like the size of my head and a half, which 
takes a lot. This is the Pixi Glow Glycolic Boost Brightening Infusion Sheet Mask. So this seems like it's basically the Pixi Glow Tonic in a sheet mask, which I'm for it. I want to say there was a collagen sheet mask too, and all of a sudden I'm just now realizing that there actually were two different sheet masks. I looked at it and they had like the same packaging and then in my mind I saw one was a collagen sheet mask and one was a the glow mask and I'm just now processing it. So go figure. I also almost threw up at the gym today. I went to Orange Theory. I haven't been to the gym for like two and a half weeks and I had a coffee and a Red Bull and went balls out on a treadmill and rower and had to go to the bathroom, sit down and gag a little bit. A thumbs up if you've been there throwing up at the gym. It happens to me probably once a month, at least. It is what it is. So this is the Glow Glycolic Boost. It has glycolic acid, ginseng, and witch hazel. This is basically their glow tonic in a sheet mask. So we're gonna give that a go. I, in hindsight, really wanted the collagen one instead, but if I like these, we'll give it give those a try. You get three of these for ten dollars, so they're actually not super expensive for American sheet masks. Like you think of American sheet mask and it's like, oh, we have this one that's the equivalent of a Korean sheet mask and it's ten bucks. And I'm kinda like, uh I'm not gonna pay ten dollars for a sheet mask unless it's some kind of magical magic mask because you can get mostly the same thing for ninety nine cents and then I think that American sheet masks tend to be wildly expensive for the most part. So then, next from the Pixie line, I saw... Well, shit. Okay, well, I wanted this, but I didn't realize I bought it. I told you guys, the puking and stuff really got to my head. So they came out with a Glow Tonic Cleansing Gel. So it's, again, the Glow Tonic Glycolic Acid Gel Cleanser. This has glycolic, horse chestnut, aloe, ginseng. So basically, again, the same thing as the glycolic uh, Glow Tonic. You can hear the children in the background playing with their little squeaky toys. So I meant to get, they had this like in shower facial and it was like a cleanser mask, steam mask type of thing. I had that in my hand. I think what happened is I saw the in shower, in shower facial one and they all have the same packaging. So I think I grabbed this meaning to grab the other one. Doesn't matter, I wanted to try this anyways. So we have the glow gel cleanser. I want to try the in shower facial one because that seems super interesting. I'm whole all about the whole in shower thing. It just is interesting to me. Then I got this collagen plumping mask. It has acacia collagen and peptides. So acacia collagen is supposed to plump and boost elasticity, peptides for firming, and then arginine is supposed to be a smoothing amino acid. So this seems like a soothing peptide hydrating mask. So, it's supposed to help with dryness, provide elasticity, and yeah, I thought this would be kind of nice. A little collagen obviously doesn't go into your skin and create collagen. I think we all know that. It's too large of a molecule. But collagen is a nice moisturizing agent. So, yeah, I think if you know that going into it, then your expectations will be adjusted. Don't go into it thinking like, oh, there's collagen. It makes my collagen more collagen-y. I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna give this a try. I needed a hydrating mask. Preston has now come to the door with his squeaky toy and is trying to get my attention. So then I have been kind of on a moisturizer kick recently, trying different moisturizers, and I saw this one from the Seaweed Bath Company. This was their Restoring Marine Night Therapy with Algiderm and Marine Tripeptides. So, this seemed kind of interesting. It was 20 bucks. There are no ingredients that concern me in the back no coconut oil, and no shea butter. And yeah, there's some niacinamide, there's some glycerin, sunflower oil, some seaweed extracts, some peptides. Seemed kind of interesting. I thought I would give it a go. This is two ounces, so again, a really good price for a moisturizer. The actual jar looks like this. Pretty. And then the moisturizer is quite thick. Okay, so this is quite, quite, quite thick. So I'm hoping this is going to be a very moisturizing moisturizer. I have needed one of those. I've been kind of looking for a heavier moisturizer this winter and I just haven't found one. I thought that Alginist one that I got from PJ Maxx a while ago was going to be it, but it wasn't. And then finally, I have been running low on milk cleansers. I'm running out of my Soap and Glory one and I'm running out of my Pixie Rose one. I've seen so many people talk about the La Roche-Posay 
Tolerating Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. So this one is soap-free, sulfate-free, fragrance-free, has ceramides and niacinamide in it, as well as their probiotic thermal water, which I think is kind of a joke, but anyways, it has that. So I picked it up. I think this is $20. You get 400 mils or 13 and a half ounces. So it's a pretty good price. And yeah, a lot of people seem to really love this line, the La Roche-Posay line and the Tolerating Cleanser. So I got it. And then there's one other thing that I want to show you. So this actually isn't a purchase. I made this, but I want to show it off to you guys. So I did put it in my Belief Sleeping Bomb container just because I didn't have a container to put it in. But I made a little cleansing bomb. So it looks like this. And yeah. It's a cleansing bomb and it's emulsifiers. I'm playing with emulsifiers right now, like to try to turn it into a milk. But yeah, I thought it was kind of fun. It's got coconut or it has cocoa butter and fenugreek oil and some sweet orange oil. So it smells like a sweet little pastry thing. Anyways, I just wanted to show that off to you guys. I used it last night, Derek used it last night, and it's pretty fun. Obviously, this is not a finished product, and this is not going to market at all. I'm literally just playing with an emulsifier right now, trying to figure out if I like it or want to use a different one. But I thought I'd show it with you guys and kind of share my little progress. Kind of fun. Anyways, that's all for this one, guys. I will see you on the video. Have you guys purchased anything yet? Are you on a no-buy, even though I hate that term? Are you on a no buy? We're not going to mention it that way. You can call it a budget year. We'll call it a budget year. I'm on a budget year. Are you on a budget year? Or have you bought something new and kind of broke your budget year? I needed a little, like, a little retail therapy. But that's all for this video, guys. I've got to stop talking, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.